it's been really hard for me to say, my dad didn't just die, he was killed. And it was preventable. For Katie Strader, the pain of losing her father, Roderick, is still fresh. Family and friends all knew him as Rod. Um, had the biggest heart that anybody could ever have. Just six months ago, Roderick was one of four people killed in a horrific underwrite accident with a milk truck in upstate New York. The family is, was so close, and to lose a very major part, it's been extremely hard. This is what happens when your car hits the side of a truck trailer and crashes under. They're called side underride collisions. When this occurs, the truck acts like a guillotine. That's why these injuries are so catastrophic, and that's why there are so many deaths. About 200 people die this way every year. Lawmakers are calling it an ongoing safety threat to millions of motorists. It's shocking how uh, this has hurt families and communities all across the country. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Florida Senator Marco Rubio are sponsoring legislation that would require stronger rear guards on tractor trailers and for the first time side guards on semis as well. Proven to stop underride crashes by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. We require seat belts, we require all these other safety standards, weight standards, all of it uh, for safety reasons. And now, you know, with the lives of so many loved ones lost, it's time for the industry to listen. Critics of the bill say the added weight of the new guards on trailers would force trucking companies to remove payload, resulting in even more tractor trailers on the road, in addition to new costs. But lawmakers and safety advocates disagree. Pair to the tonnage that they're carrying, 800 pounds is not a lot. It's really not. And so it's very relative. And if there's an incremental cost, we can talk about that. But this is the type of reform that is necessary. A bill written in honor of the thousands of victims of underwrite accidents nationwide, like Roderick Coda, and his family says they'll continue to fight to make it law. Change is possible and that we don't have to live in fear. We don't have to be unsafe on the roads. In Washington, Samantha Jo Roth, New York One.